Susie Wilkes. Welcome to Changing Rooms. Well, it's time to encourage a bunch of friends to run riot in each other's house with power tools and paint, all in the name of home improvement, of course. This week, our team members are Chris Stanley, a sales rep, and her husband John, a flight attendant. And Lynn Mickelson and her good friend Val Egan, who both work as sales reps. They've got two days to transform a room in each other's house. Once they go to their friend's place, we don't let them back or speak to each other until the time's up. That means they even have to sleep there. Designers Tara Dennis and Kelvin Dawes have checked out the rooms, but have no idea what their owners want. Women's Day handyman Mark Begners is all set to help out. Chris and John have decided their TV room, which doubles as John's retreat, needs a brighten up. I'm pretty open, I don't care what they do really. I like a dark colour kept on the walls. So we, we like a dramatic colour, sort of nothing white or cream or beige. I'd like to have a, a small wall behind the television and the stereo gear there, just so you can't see the back of it as you come up the stairs. When it's done, it might become my room. And then the my boys wife. will have to share. Ma, ma. <laughs> so they might put some nice satin festoons up or something. No way. The boys' room. The same. boys' room. As long as you use a man's theme, I'll be happy. Lynn wants a new look for her lounge room. For a start, I hate these curtains because they've been here for six years. Could do with a paint job. <laughs> I think that needs doing. I'd like it updated a little bit, um, something a bit more up to the moment. Don't like antiques, things like that, but I do like modern. I've just bought a new lounge suite, so I'd like something to complement the new lounge suite. So I'd just like a whole new makeover. <laughs> it's almost time to meet your designers. Don't forget, they'll rely on you to tell them what your friends like and what they don't like. Remember, you've only got two days and $1,200, so you better swap keys and get going. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Yes. We've got to decorate it. What's our plan? I know. I just can't wait to get started. Okay. The room does seem to lack a bit of frill. Yeah. I take it it's mm. the boys' domain. Is That's that right? right? It's John's room. Mm. The other thing that I did notice was these wonderful pictures. They're fabulous. Aren't They're they obviously mm. something that John is very passionate about. Well, um, yeah, John was a sports photographer for many years and they're very precious to him. I know they are. So I don't know how you feel, but I think this theme could be wonderful for this room. Mm -hmm. It tends to lack any real character at the moment yeah, and we could actually yeah. use that as a starting point. I think so being that it is yeah. such a boysy yeah. room, we could Excellent. actually build upon this racing car theme. Definitely. Let's get to work. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, Kelvin. Good morning. How are you? Very well. How are you two? Excited. Good. Are you ready for this? We are. What are we going to do with this room? <gasps> Reckon. Reckon. <laughs> <laughs> let's blow torch all these horrible pictures, and let's paint the cat because she really hates the colour of the cat. Um, and what are we thinking about colours? Caramel. Caramel. Yeah, caramel. 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 What do you think about a tribal theme? How do you feel about that? that sounds great. Oh, good, yeah. Lynn yeah. loves tribal. You should see a bedroom. It roars. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's, Let's get on go. with this. Let's go. Let's go. While the team settle into some serious redecorating, we'll take a break, then check on the progress. Okay, ladies, mm. we've chosen the wall colour. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Ready. Yes. I'm really ready. nervous at what your reaction. What colour do you think? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, green. <laughs> green. Frog green. We spoke about yeah. the actual well, racing colour. Racing exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It will make the, the most wonderful cars. foil for yeah. the actual rest of the room. Okay, guys, you said caramel. We do. I've taken a little liberty. This is, this is what you call a tribal caramel, I think. Is this for the wall or the cat? This is the wall, and I think once we get it on the wall, it'll look pretty good. Love it. I don't like it. Trust me, it's going to work. It's, it'll look fantastic. It's not Trust caramel. Me. That is, that's sand. That's You'll right. love it. All right, okay. It's good. I hate it. <laughs> so if it was green before... Yeah. Chris painted it green one weekend. I only found this out today. 
<laughs> so I think there was a reason they covered up the green in the Apparently first place. Apparently John hated it. He hated the green. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be really scary. Hang on, now you... You go wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and it's on. We're not talking about look, a sex see, look, see that? <laughs> <laughs> the girls have actually asked for some kind of partition to go on the end here. As you can see, the floor's quite dangerous as it is. Mm -hmm. As the television is actually going to sit here, what I thought we could do is incorporate it in a bit of a bench, so then it's quite a useful partition as well. The girls have also asked for a backing to go on that. Isn't that right, Lynn? You actually wanted to yeah, have the back backing. So yeah, you so you can't see through it. That's the right. And what I thought we could actually make it from is some of that thick craft wood. You know the MDF that we could actually varnish? And something like this, industrial poles to actually support the bench. What do you think? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, Tara, what are we going to do with this old lounge? Okay, well, I thought what we could do is something really exciting and actually turn it into a racing car. Great wow. idea. Sounds good. To do that, yep. what we'll need to do is actually encase the whole lounge in craftwood or MDF, which yep. I then thought we could paint in a red gloss paint. Now I've got oh, paint on no, the shirt. No. Well, get the lid out of the road. You put it there. It's your fault. <gasps> look at... That's pretty spot on, actually, because that's look. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's bad. That's about Got half a good eye. Yeah. I bet a man couldn't do this good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why don't you like it, Chris? I just, I just don't like stone. It just looks camel-y. Nah, I, uh, camel. Oh, camel like a camel. That's the colour of a camel. What do you want, Africa, don't you? Yes. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get natural television. <laughs> Looking like this. <laughs> the thing about this colour is it's a marvellous foil for everything else. It's it's like a backdrop. every colour looks great with this. Really? Yeah. I guess black would look stunning with stunning. It. Now I've never used one of these before. Go on. Go. Okay. Go. I don't even know where to hold the button. Press the yellow thing up. There's an awful lot of very unattractive curtains. Very unattractive. So we can't afford to ditch the curtains. We've got to make do with what we've got. Why couldn't we buy new ones? Because it's too much money. Oh. This is a stenciling cream. Right. It's suitable for fabrics. We can give it a go. Mm. Now you've got to go straight, isn't it? I do I? No. Round here. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, so we just lift it up. There you go. Great. Fantastic. Excellent job. <laughs> Done well. well. We've had a small accident here. We actually thought the paint would dry, but it didn't, and the fabric's folded over and the paint sort of leaked. Maybe what we actually have to do is come in quite a lot more mm. on that curve. Now, there's a lot of things happening in this room that I, I felt we needed to have some sort of focus. We need to bring all of the entertainment equipment together. Um, now, the most sensible place to put that is over here between these doors, I think. What I have designed here is a wall unit that goes across these two doors and down past that doorway and onto the next wall. It looks like a big job. It is a big job, but don't worry, we've got Mark and he'll sort it out. Mm, disposing of a bit of evidence. Chris's efforts to get all these smudges off didn't quite work. As you can see, it is a big mess. It'll be interesting to see how they get out of this one. It looks wrong, but it's measuring okay. Why don't we try something else? Maybe Instead I'll just of, skim why a Why don't bit we off. turn it around this way and see what it looks like that way? So basically the TV cabinet fits into the hole that's there. Okay. Nice and tight. Couple of shelves at the top place for the TV and the rest of the equipment underneath. And it needs to sit out 25 mil, 25 centimetres, in fact, from the walls. Yeah, right, I can build a frame for that, just some 2 by 2 Ideal, great. OK, great. Lots of work. The precious minutes tick away so? as the yeah. girls struggle to get the couch back into work. That line that's yeah, above it. See the line that's yeah. above it? I'll mm. go in between, I think. Mm. Yeah. OK. How are you going? 
Good, I've decided we should make a start on these tables. Right. You just have to add a little glue at a time. Right. Just like that, just enough to mm -hmm. hold it in place. And then we're simply going to wrap these nice and tightly, this right. lovely yellow string, around and around. Right. Pushing it down as you go. Okay? Okay. So it's nice and tight. And then after we've wrapped all the legs, we're going to hit it with a black spray oh, God, you're going to leave it yellow for no, a minute. No, 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 don't worry about that. <laughs> I think I know exactly what to do. Put it back up here. Right. And I think oh. I've got the answer. Here we go. That's better. Definitely. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Good. Slowly. Beautiful. Alright. Try and be fairly sparing with it. Okay. You lift it on there, don't slide it. Okay. Is it gonna fit? Okay. 20 mil. That is it. It looks fantastic. It looks even better than I thought it was going to look. And I think once the whole frame goes on, it's going to be a sensation. It's going to be really good. Well, as day one ends, Lynn's lounge room continues to make its way out of darkest Africa, while John's retreat is all revved up for a fabulous finish. We'll be back soon as both teams race for the line. Good morning. Hi. Hi How are Hi, you? Good. What's this texture? Isn't it fabulous? It's a it's a wood wash, looks, which looks good. This fabulous marble effect. It's just stunning. So how did you sleep last night? Terrible. Yeah. Panicky. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Worrying about what the girls are doing to my room. Why? Terrible. Worried about powder blue. If the girls are putting powder blue. Oh, on this, my that's walls. just the beginning of the pastels. You know that, Pretty don't sure. you? <laughs> how can girls I trust stuff. two girls doing up my room? Exactly. Man's room. Three girls. Three, Three girls. girls. Enjoy, Let's enjoy. You better get triple into it. trouble. Yeah, that's right. You, you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Sure. I'm By going. the way, you said that with a wink. <laughs> okay, guys. Day two. How are you feeling? Frisky. Raring <laughs> to go again. Yeah, yeah. That's we'll good. Have a good sleep. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got mm -hmm. heaps to do. First thing this morning, we're actually going to do something really interesting on this green wall. Right. We're going to put some racing stripes on it right. to pick out one of the actual details in this racing car here. What we're going to do here is turn this into a very simple picture and basically we're just trying to get a, an attractive arrangement and then we're going to sandwich a piece of perspex down on top of it and put it into a frame and then we're going to hang it on the the new wall inside and I, I think it will really lift that whole just, black this is just so clever it's amazing and very simple what I've got to do is pull the string really tight and then actually Make sure I keep it nice and even all the way around. And then what we're actually going to do is fill it in with the white paint and we have to make sure that we're really neat. Power. Come on. Power. Okay, let's tip it up. Right. Nice and easy. I got this in. It's all right. Okay. Yep. You put it on that shelf. Just put it on. Okay. What I need you to do, Lynn and Tara, just lift it a touch for me. Yep. That's it. Now Enough. bring it back down a bit. Bring it back down. Yep. Okay. Step back and tell me what you think, Oh, I love it. I think it looks so good. You've done well. So do you think the whole tribal thing's coming together? I think it's absolutely fabulous. I'm, I'm still waiting for the Zulus to come through the door. It looks so good. OK, <clears> this <throat> is the plan. We now have a really funky toolbox hammered metal finish. Right. This is where I figure the handle should go. This one will probably need to go in on an angle. But you can oh, do it. Come You're on. a professional. Come on. You can't can you do just this. put normal handles on it? Just some ring handles or something? No, no, this will look really good. It's trendy. Come on, be trendy. You can do this. You're a professional. You are a crazy woman. <laughs> so I, I was really upset yesterday to hear that um, John apparently doesn't like green. That's so. right. <laughs> and it was green and you've taken it back to green. Yeah, I, I kind of don't remember Val and Lynn actually saying that to me. Well, so. you just pass the buck, you pass the blame on to uh, Val and Lynn. That's right, it's all their fault, totally. 
Is it going into anything? Yeah, it's going, it's going into the timber. Right. How's that going to look? Now that looks good. Yeah, see what your Does problem is? These bits mm -hmm. are hitting the screw. No, but see what I'm sitting up a bit. What well, I think it is. You've got that too. What we can do, can't we? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, he's what? losing it now. Now, temper. You've got to be tolerant. Was See, that? boys are no good at hanging curtains, let me tell you girls. Who's they always miss that? a table too. That's because women invented curtains. Brilliant. Look at the cushions. Yeah, You've the done cushions fabulous. Look Here, at that. I just got one up to try. Oh, let's try it out. Oh, you've just done so well. It's brilliant. What do you think? Love it. Perfect. Okay, what do you think, guys? It's good. I think they're great. It's a reasonable compromise. It's it not is. what we had in no. mind in the first place, no, but... I no, the calico goes well. Yes. This is vinyl lettering, which you can buy from screen printers. Cut these out. And then we just give it a bit of a smooth over mm -hmm. like this to make, sure, make sure all the bubbles are out. Down. And there's our number. That's much easier than painting it, isn't it? That looks great. It's wonderful. Thank you. Time to hustle. Only an hour to go. Yeah, I'm Over there. Well, thanks, girl. Okay. Oh my God, so heavy. I bagged the cushions. Thank you. Hot flash here. <laughs> We'll be back after the break for the moment of truth. Let's sit down. Oh. What are we doing tomorrow, yeah, Kelvin? So Sleeping. <laughs> Time's up, so let's check those rooms out. What an imagination you've got. Are you happy? Thank you. I absolutely love it. I do. I'm so thrilled with it. I just hope John's so thrilled as well. Uh, I am amazed personally. I feel like we're playing Daytona. Is there a slot machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said it looked like something out of Seagull World. It really does look fabulous, doesn't it? Oh, it, it is. What's your favourite piece? This? It definitely. And what about when the TV is? That was the partition that we built and the steel poles have actually incorporated the two units that we've got here. And are these new or are these existing No, these are the hammer tone finish that we covered. This was the pine chest we put on the spanner handles. And any special bargains? The fruit bowls, they were really good. They're just hubcaps that we sprayed chrome. It's a hubcap? Yeah, they came up really, really well. Um, the vinyl floor matting, that oh, was just an off-cut. Okay end of line piece, so hopefully he'll like it. Let's hope. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> One, two, start your engines. Three, open. Go. Oh! <laughs> Dark green, is that? It's dark green. I told you to be dark green. What do you I like had to a like feeling it? about dark green. I hate it. Green. You hate it. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. <laughs> look at this thing. Look, 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 look. A car. A car. car. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. I don't it believe good. it. You're smiling. Calvin, you've finished and it's looking really, really good. You must be happy. I'm delighted it's finished and I'm really pleased with the outcome. I think it's, it's a great improvement. The room looks fantastic. The biggest feature that stands out to me is that cabinet, or what do you call that, that's well, been handmade? Someone said it was a cross between a cabinet and an architectural statement, which I think is pretty good, really. <laughs> Sums it up. Where did the African theme come from? Well, it really came from talking to our friends that helped out in the room and it came from a couple of items that I found in the house that sort of looked tribal and I thought, well, maybe we'll go for a tribal theme. 
Any good bargains? We had a couple of little gold tables here that we wrapped with rope and then sprayed with black paint. And we got some samples from a tile shop to make the, the tops. And I guess anyone could do that. Any problems in the two days? Oh, problems. We had a huge disaster yesterday. What happened? Well, as you can see, there are a lot of curtains in this room and we were very busy stenciling a fabulous tribal pattern on in a random pattern. But unfortunately, the curtains rubbed up against one another and they were smudged beyond repair. It was appalling, really. Yes, I saw. Mm. <laughs> what did you do? Well, after we stopped panicking about it, um, we simply went out and bought some new curtains. Unfortunately, there was no way out. So how did you go with the budget? Did you go a little bit over or under? I think I might have gone a bit over because of the curtains, but I don't think too much over. Not too much? Not too much. Well, it looks good. It's amazing, really, isn't it? It looks fantastic. That's amazing. I'm thrilled. Number one, <laughs> two, three. Open your eyes. Oh, my God. Well, I'm sure you'll agree a couple of very successful makeovers. We'll be back next week with heaps more renovating fun. See you then. Bye. You'll find more information on tonight's program, plus an application form to be on the show in next week's Woman's Day.